In this video, let's take a look at the different styles applicable in relation to the CSS box model. As you may already know, the CSS box model represents a box that encloses every HTML element consisting of margins, borders, padding, and the actual content. Interestingly, these properties are also applicable to React Native components. Let's delve into the specifics of these properties in this video. To begin, let's discuss the height and width properties. These properties have already been covered in the previous videos of this series. They're used to define the dimensions of a component. It is important to note that in React Native, all dimensions are unitless and represent density independent pixels. No specific units like rems or pixels are required. In our example, both the width and height are set to 100. But what you can do is specify percentage values. When the parent's dimensions are defined, child components can have percentage dimensions. In this case, since the container has a flex value of one occupying the entire available screen space, we can set the box's width and height to 25%. As a result, you can observe that the box width and height now account for 25% of the parent container's width and height respectively. Together, the two boxes occupy 50% of the available height and 25% of the available width. So this covers the width and height aspects of the element. Moving on, let's talk about padding. Similar to CSS for the web, React Native allows us to specify padding in all four directions. Additionally, there are a few properties in React Native that you should be aware of. You can individually set padding in the horizontal and vertical directions using padding horizontal and padding vertical. So let me comment out padding and instead add padding horizontal 10 and padding vertical 20. Take a look at the UI and you will see the styles work as expected. Now the margin property also functions similarly to its CSS counterpart and in React Native we can utilize margin horizontal and margin vertical as well. So margin 10 works completely fine but we can also have margin vertical 10. Take a look at the UI and we now clearly see the spacing between the two boxes because of vertical margin. Next, let's take a look at borders in React Native. In traditional web CSS, we often specify the border with a shorthand property like border, two pixels, solid, purple. However, this approach does not work in React Native. Instead, we need to specify the properties individually. First, we set border width, and this is two. Next, we have border color, which is a string purple. Finally, we have border style, and this is set to solid by default, so we don't need to explicitly mention it. Take a look at the simulator and you will see the purple border applied to both boxes. Finally, I want to highlight a nuance regarding border radius in iOS versus Android. If we set a border radius on a text component, let's go with inline styles for now, border radius five, and this needs a background color, so background color, red. You will notice that it only applies to Android and not iOS. We have the curved border in Android, but not iOS. However, if we apply border radius to the view component, so border radius, five, you will observe that the boxes have rounded corners on both the platforms. This is an important distinction to keep in mind. 
border radius is applicable to the view component across both platforms, but for the text component, it only applies to Android. If you wish to add a border radius to text, the solution is to wrap it with the view component and apply the border radius to the view component instead. I hope you're able to slowly recognize the differences in styling between the web and React Native, as well as the variations in styling for iOS and Android platforms. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you're enjoying the content and make sure to subscribe to the channel.